Harbor Boat Club Weather Center. This report is sponsored by Summit Orthopedics. Summit Orthopedics provides the highest standard of treatment through every injury or aching joint and muscle that may stand in the way of you realizing your dreams and living life at your summit. Fan forecast. High of 57 today, partly sunny skies. And North Carolina State's magical force run continues. Westwood One's coverage of the Final Four. The Power Trip Morning Show begins now. KFAN.com slash watch. Powered by Quantum Fiber. Your world unleashed. Yeah. This is a uh, Den of Thieves in 74 Days. Local music on the Power Trip Morning Show. Uh, Scalar Brothers, Mark Parrish, Marty Gellner, cast of thousands all in here getting ready for the initials game a little bit later today. And if you're watching the stream, if you're watching on KFAN.com slash watch, Jason's on the left, Randy's on the right. Is that how That's the right. stream goes? Yeah. yeah. Jay Jay Randy. Randy. Yes. Yeah. I love that you guys play local music. Our buddy Jim Weber for years, our dear, dear friend Jim Weber, he managed a band in Minneapolis, our, one of our favorite bands of all time, called Detroit in Minneapolis. They used to play the 400 bar all the time. Huh. And we knew all the band. Like, first of all, like Lifter Puller, which later yeah. became the Hold Steady. Hold Steady, man. Uh, the Flip, our buddy, oh, Chia, yeah. Kai, like those guys. Kai Aarons. Kai Aarons, like, who's a great artist and mm. director. Like, he, you know, we just knew the late 90s local Minneapolis music scene because we did commercials. This, this is one of our first jobs. We did commercials for the Minneapolis Star, Star Tribune. Tribune online when they started <laughs> having their events calendar, like literally what looks like on the, the internet. internet in 1996 was wow. like a thing. And, and we, we were, played like aliens who landed in Minneapolis. We looked like ourselves. We weren't even in crazy makeup. Huh. And so that was part of it was doing these commercials. We shot six commercials, five of them here with this great ad agency, Fallon McGilligot, which is like this great yeah. downtown Minneapolis. They did the, they did the original, this is what was the guy from the Miller Light, like the normal looking guy? This is those Miller Light commercials. This is Dick or whatever the guy's name. Well, I mean, yeah, that, <laughs> really? or Don or whatever. Anyway, uh, and so they were great and we shot them here. And then the fifth one we shot with Jim Signorelli, who is was the guy who produced all the SNL, all the fake commercials, fake for commercials SNL. for oh, SNL. No so we shot there in New York, but accompanying the ad campaign for us in 96 was 30 days. 30 days of public appearances as these characters at events around Minneapolis. And we didn't have to like speak at the events. We just were walking around in the events like a boat show <laughs> at like the convention <laughs> center. We, we went to the uh, winter, 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 winter carnival, carnival. <laughs> just oh show up at a St. Paul Saints game. Uh, it was like dressed as, dressed as these characters. And Randy got the better deal because I, my character had a laptop strapped over his shoulders in this oh. like rig that they did. But in 96, laptops weighed like 175 pounds. <laughs> it was literally like light. It was heavier than like the backpack they need for like basic training. Early, if you're going to climb Everest, <laughs> this thing is over my shoulders and I'm holding it. And I had to walk around with that thing for hours. But like, I just remember we'd be at all these events. And so we, we kind of grew to love Nicolette Mall, like all the references oh, yeah. in every Hold Steady song. We're like, oh, yes, meet me out at the carpet store. We're like, yes, let's go. We're in every <laughs> single like. So we have this deep affinity for Minneapolis, not just Twin Cities because we're twins, but literally we have this deep, deep, deep connection with this with this town. Well, it sounds like you're Midwesterners anyway, right? St. Louis, yeah. Midwest, yeah. I mean, went to Michigan. That's probably yeah. part yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, we can relate to everyone who's here. Like, Minneapolis was always, to us, the cooler version of the city we lived in. Because it's northern, it's yeah. based mm -hmm. on art, art and music. If art and music are the core of your city and good sports, like, you, that's a town. Good, that good sports? <laughs> well, you guys what? were better than St. Louis. I mean, except for the Cardinals, like, in football, the Vikings were all... There was no worse. Guys, bit, the Twins beat the Cardinals in 87. Fair. You guys That's won true. again in 91. One, one. So, like, in those days, that this was a hub, and you had Kirby Puckett and Prince. It's like you were beating us in every And element. Kent Herbeck. Yes. Kent Herbeck. He needs to, he needs to open up. Does he have a house of pies? We ran in there like, he needs to open up Ken Herbeck's house, house of pies. House of pies. 
Well, you if when you th- when you throw out the first pitch Thank tomorrow, you, you can also go to Herbex because he has a bar on the main concourse course, yeah, level, like does. right yeah, up from does. the uh, first base. And there's a good chance you'll run into He's him. Probably be yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Bloody Mary has like a cheeseburger on it. On it? Oh yeah, the, the Bloody Marys are unbelievable. Yeah. Bloody Mary. We had Harm- Didn't we meet Harmon Killebrew once. Oh, oh that we was the absolutely best time. Right. And, But who was the guy who was a big fan of ours? Minnesota Twin, great hitter. Oh uh, uh, no, now it was Sean. It was Sean oh, Casey. Sean Casey. Sorry, it was Sean Casey and and um, not a twin, but. Uh, but, but in, no, for so for t- again, Jay was talking about like people who watch us, and you talk about Jawan and whatnot. Yeah. <clears throat> we found this out from Glendon Rush, who was like a pitcher for the Cubs, and we're the Cardinals fans. We hate the Cubs, hate the Cubs. Grew up hating them. I mean, now we sort of softened and love them, and have so many friends from Chicago in the comedy scene who are like Cubs fans. So we were actually happy when they won in 2016. But for years, this is our most hated rivalry, St. Louis always in the shadow of Chicago, their second city, they're the second city, and we're just this rinky-dink town and blah, blah, blah. Hated them. And then we find out from Glendon Rush that when our show Cheap Seats was on on ESPN, in the club, in the Cubs clubhouse, they had a TiVo. That's how long ago it was, in like <laughs> 2004. And the entire TiVo was from a team with like Kerry Wood and Mark Pryor and all those guys who literally ripped our hearts out every single game. Uh they had all cheap seats episodes on their thing. So like, when pitchers awesome. weren't scheduled to pitch, they, they would hang just in the around and watch, and watch our yeah. show. And wow. I'm like, you can't make me like the Cubs. No. How dare you? <laughs> how dare you? Paris, was, you said that's how you fell in love with these guys. Too, yeah, right? absolutely. Yeah. ESPN. Yeah. Thank Thank you. You. It's in the St. locker rooms, man. We watch you guys all the time. Thank St. Louis you. is a little bit of a, a comedy hotbed, like a thoroughfare. Uh, John Hamm Ham. is from St. Louis. Ellie Kemper is from St. Louis. Ellie Kemper's from St. Louis, John Hamm. And uh, so Hamm, it's so funny that you talk about it as a comedy. I mean, like, he's a phenomenal actor. Like, literally was the best dramatic actor in the best series forever. But also, like, a really funny guy. Yeah. And, and grew up, he's one year older than us. So, like, we had all the frame of reference for all that, I'm sure you could do all the local commercials of every local thing that happened. And, like, we would just just text each other and just be like, the unique boutique. And that's all we just <laughs> It'd text. be like someone texting someone else here in Minneapolis, Nye's Polonaise. Like, you just say that <laughs> just as a joke. I just thought that. And that's what we do with him all the time. So he's from there. And, first of all, like, Nikki Glazer is St. Louis. Cedric the Entertainer is St. Louis. Like, there's a lot of people who came from St. Louis who – who popped out into the world and did things. Hopefully we're in that group. Sarah Evans. Sarah, Sarah Evans. Evans. <laughs> 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 oh, what just happened That's there, Marnie? That's my favorite. You want to uh, explore that, Marnie, more or not? I'm just outside of St. Louis. She's my favorite singer. I mean, I know you guys are... In- are familiar with her work, Suds in the Bucket, sure, et cetera. Sure, I'm all familiar with yes. Sarah Evans' work. Yes, Lainey yes. Wilson has traveled through there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lainey Wilson is here tomorrow night. How about Lainey, great she call. Is, yeah. So Lainey great Wilson, call. so my friend, our friend in L.A. wrote a fantastic movie script that uh, he wants her to star in this movie. And so, like, oh. it's with her and with her people. And so, fingers crossed yeah, that she this She might movie. be here and she might be listening. Okay. So, Lainey Wilson, <laughs> our friend Peter, you've read, she's, not only has she read the script and loves it, she is writing a song for, for the, the movie. Oh, for the, really? to, to, like, go around and pitch this movie out hmm. to, like, directors and stuff is that she, so imagine that. You have a great script, you have Lainey Wilson attached, and a exclusive Lainey Wilson song for this movie. Yeah. I'm like, go sell that thing. Wow. Let's and go. she once mm. played in St. Louis. What? Hey, Thank you. Okay. Yeah. 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 Do you see what that? are we even doing I here? Mean, come so, on. All coming together. So outside of Acme tonight and tomorrow, what what have you guys been up to since May? What's new? What have you been a part of? What projects are you working on? Yeah. What where can people listen to you and see you? Let's um, go through the whole gamut here. So we did we just recently did and I and I'm excited to do it again and again after midnight. That show is so fun with Taylor Tomlinson mm. on uh on CBS. I so. saw that. You guys got her. I, I like Randy I got like her. when guests yeah. get yeah. Broke her to up. crack, and when you guys were doing the, the was it a kid on the side of a so we're watching, race? yeah. And I didn't even see this the first time they showed us the video, but it was like a people riding ostriches, which is bizarre. <laughs> I mean, like, don't ride an ostrich, that's like a terrible idea, but it's ostrich racing. And then I just saw this kid not in the stands, just leaning on the railing, 
And I was like, hang on a second. Freeze, Freeze it on that kid. Look at this kid on the railing. First of all, how did he get this access? And you know he's just one of those kids who's just talking to his dad. Daddy, daddy, I'm on the rails, daddy. But I'm off the rails, daddy. You know, he's like a 12-year-old. Why did mommy leave us, daddy? Uh, maybe because you're talking like Jackie Gleason from Smokey and the Bandit. I want a Diablo sandwich. Uh, so, I mean, and I was like, okay, this to us is a very cheap seats thing to find the kid on the rail. Just and just start voicing his thoughts. And, and become that thing. And she. You got her. She was lost laughing it. so hard. And in those moments, this is when it's good. And this is why I'm going to compliment your radio show right now. I know what Randy's going to say. When you are in a situation, so many times we come on shows all over the country and, you know, do some of the bits that you're going to do in the thing. When when someone from a radio show says, do some of your bits from your stand-up show, that means they don't want to engage with you in a real conversation. But if you're sitting in the room and you're just having very real conversations and funny things come up and you just are who you are, then you know it's this real moment. You forget you're on the radio. We're just yeah. having a conversation. So I forgot we were doing a TV show and I'm like, oh, I'm just trying to get my friend Taylor to, to break. And that's super fun. So you guys have it on this show. Nice. That show has that as well. It's really fun. So we do that. We have our podcast. We have a view from the cheap seats is our sports podcast. We have another podcast called uh, dumb people town. We are touring around the country doing that. We're crossing our fingers about possibly writing the, a movie for national lampoon, which we're in the works, in the works of, of setting that up. So, so we have that going on and, and just a bunch of other stuff. I mean, the, the good news for us is that Rand and I are like uh, to, I'll put it in a hockey terminology. We're the grinder line. Yeah. Right. So like we're like, it. we're like the it. fourth line that comes in and no one expects anything out of us. And yet here we are still grinding away. The so, identity line. So yes. uh, I think this was uh, like a, what a week or two ago. Did you not, uh, after Richard Lewis, Dad, not to bring the room down. Did you tweet out? You guys ran into him at some point, right? Oh, you yeah. knew him a little bit? So yeah. we knew him, and he knew uh, this was great. So we did this thing called, uh, there's a great like organization called Comedy Gives Back, and it's a lot of comedians that sort of, when the pandemic hit, there there is no larger sort safety of safety net. net for comics. And when live performing went away, and if you're this is the main thing you do, comedy, stand-up, you know, comics were in a really hard place, and so... Bud Friedman, who ran the improv, his daughter, Zoe Friedman, who's incredible. She used to be at Comedy Central. and a She used to book Letterman. She's like, has been around the business. So her and Amber J. Lawson and a couple other people put together this, this organization called Comedy Gives Back, where they raised a lot of money to support comedians who couldn't tour and things like that. And our friend Avery Pearson, who is a Canadian, who is a really funny musical, has like written, he wrote the music that, I don't know if you watched the ESPYs two years ago when Jay Farrow sang like that hilarious song. He was playing up there and he wrote wrote that song. So he's like a really, he wrote a hilarious Christmas song called Christmas Magic. You guys can see it online. It's on YouTube where they basically got all these really funny comics to come and like we sang like a little line. It was like a We Are the World of, and it's so funny and uh, it's like hilarious about Christmas and it actually is a really good song. It's very catchy and Richard Lewis had like a line in that song and we all got together on this one day to sing and we got a chance to tell him like, oh my God, dude, you are like the, gr we love you so much and he knew who we were and we really got to spend time and hang with him and awesome. I was like, legend, legend. Legend and also just the sweetest guy, like exactly who you would want him to be. He is like all the neuroses and all the things, but also in a, just, in a funny way that wasn't like, oh, God, I got to put up with this guy doing all this stuff. You're like, no, no, no. All of that is real. <laughs> all of his neuroses are real, but muted down in a way that like if you talk to your friend, if you said, I OK, you know, what I'm worried about tonight. The morning about my wife, like opening her mouth in the middle of the thing, like that would be the thing on his mind. He's like, what's going on, Richard? My wife's coming to a show tonight. With me. <laughs> 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 and like that's on his mind. Uh, speaking of the show, uh, you said it's an awesome lineup, not just you guys as well. Yeah, so speak, I love that you guys play local bands here uh, on the show. We got two amazing local uh, Minneapolis comedians. That's how great Minneapolis is of, as a comedy town and Acme as a comedy club. Is Randy and I usually bring, we get to, we're at the point in our career where we get to hand select who opens for us and bring people on the road with us. 
the guy, one of the guys we bring on the road with us because he's just so wonderful and just a brilliant comic, uh, Nate Abshire. He's local Minneapolis comedian. And so he, we try to get him to, to work with us every time we're here as much as we can. He is just so fantastic. He's, he's like a, a headliner himself. So for him to feature for us. Just to is, watch him do 25 minutes is worth the price of admission. And then Wendy Mayberry, she's also amazing. And she is hosting the a show. A newer comic, but a friend of ours and really talented. And I love having a mix of men and women on the show. I feel like everyone get spoken to in a really nice way and heard in in the audience. So it's it's just a great lineup, top to bottom. Which is weird, Marnie, because we don't like when you right, talk. Right, it's the opposite yeah. here. <laughs> so thank you guys for right? lifting us up. I'm sorry, of was course. someone talking right there? I did not hear. <laughs> no, Randy wants to not amplify Marnie's voice if you can. 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock tonight at Acme, and then 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock tomorrow well, at Acme only 9 well. tomorrow. Only oh, that's 9. That's right, the early so, one sold out. Sold out tomorrow. Yeah, I think right. there's like 20, there was 20, there were 20 tickets left uh, in the early show for tonight. So that might be sold out too. But again, 9 o'clock is not that late. Go grab some dinner. Or hang out and then uh, yeah. come see us. Can I ask you guys get, get real quick before we go to break? Sure. Um, you mentioned Jim Weber the, the, in, from the band Detroit? Yeah. Oh, no, okay, okay, cool, yeah. So he managed Detroit. This is them live. I'm afraid they're going to cuss. I'm not going to play much of it. But no, yeah. I'll tell you what they're doing right here. They're it's doing a Rush, rush medley. medley. That's right. Yes. Oh, oh nailed it. <laughs> and this is how funny they were. They would end the Rush medley with a Triumph song because Triumph, <laughs> like Rush, was a power trio from Canada. Yeah. That's yeah. just the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Legendary, man. Amazing. Yeah, that's Love great. Detroit. Very cool. Jeff All right. Ham, Enough of comedy talk. It's game time. Let's get it. When we come back, the Scalar Brothers play initials for the second time. Marnie Gellner, Mark Parrish, Chris Hockey, the five of them will square off. And one of you has a shot at $62,500 with the jackpot. Up next, it's the initials game featuring the St. Paul Federal Credit Union jackpot. Call 1-800-320-5326 for your shot at the initials jackpot next on The Fan. Get ready for our iHeartRadio album release party with the Black Keys. Don't miss the iHeartRadio album release party with us, the Black Keys. On the night of the... Boxing, kickboxing, and Muay Thai, you'll see the region's top. Players and legends while taking in the first round of the NFL Draft. Party on the field and enjoy player photo ops and meet and greets in the best stadium in the NFL. Visit the Miller Lite Vikings Draft Party for your chance to win 2024 season tickets, exclusive prizes, and more. Head to vikings.com slash draft party to secure your spot at U.S. Bank Stadium for the NFL Draft. Vikings.com slash draft party. You're free now. Free to stream beyond your wildest dreams. Free to be everything you imagine, and then some. That's how it feels to have Quantum Fiber. Your world unleashed. Learn more at quantumfiber.com. Limited availability. Service in select locations only. Hey, it's Meat Sauce here for the greatest undies of all time. Chillboys and chillboys.com. They are incredible. I have a pair on right now. I don't even know it. That's how great they are. They're the most comfortable and breathable underwear around. It's the best. It's like wearing nothing. I'm dead serious. They are awesome. They have an anti-chave zone, glide zone, sweat catcher, all that built in, and they're made from bamboo. Your boys will love them. Get it? Go to chillboys.com, mention Sauce 15, and you get 15% off at chillboys.com. That's chillboys.com. And don't forget to call 952-0-RES. If you want to get your home, your cabin, or your business clean this spring, uh, make sure you mention, my friends, at zero res to your spouse when you're uh, putting that spring cleaning plan together. They can get you a sick deal, too. If you mention KFAN or the Power Trip Morning Show or the KFAN special, three rooms of carpet, zero resified for just $129. Uh, think of all the stuff 
uh, this winter, or especially as the uh, the snow is thawing out, that's going to be dragged in and out of your home. You want to make sure that stuff's uh, clean, and also uh, your air duct system. Everybody wants to be breathing clean, healthy air. So if you do both at the same time, and mention KFAN, they're going to get you two good deals, right? Three rooms of carpet for one twenty nine, seventy five dollars off your air duct uh, system cleaning, and then your uh, air's cleaner, your carpet's cleaner. Uh, you could also get rug cleaning, tile cleaning, upholstery cleaning. They do it all at Zero Res, and there's two ways to get a hold of them. 952-ZERO-RES. Spells the same forward and backward. Or even easier, just book it online right now at ZeroResMinnesota.com. That's ZeroResMinnesota.com. I'm Angela Warner for Warner Stellium. Sometimes appliances break. Other times you spend years wishing they would. We get it. That's why right now we're paying you to upgrade with our trade-in sale. We'll pay you $50 for each appliance you replace. Our in-store specialists take out the guesswork of wondering what's the best one and which one will fit. Then Warner Stallion Professional Crews will deliver, install, and take your old stuff away, saving you time and money. So outsource your stress and shop family-owned Warner Stallion. Hey, Corey Cove, Power Trip Morning Show back for Treasure Island Resort and Casino. Don't forget, uh, it's the weekend. It's time to go down to Treasure Island Resort and Casino. The Power Trip was there just a week ago. We had an awesome time. Uh, obviously, the initials major was a, a big time uh, party. That was super fun. Uh, we gave away some trips for two to Vegas. Uh, thanks for coming out last week to Treasure Island Resort and Casino. But uh, you could make this weekend your weekend to get down to TI. Stay at TICasino.com. You can book a room there. Uh, you can also book a table at Tito's Steakhouse. Learn more about the Trade Winds Buffet. Of course, they have a water park, a bowling alley, an arcade. There's so much to do at Treasure Island. And, of course, they have events. Uh, Dave Attell, one of the uh, best stand-up comics in the country, is going to be there later this month. You can get tickets right now to Dave Attell at TICasino.com. And also later this month, Wheel of Fortune Live at Treasure Island Resort and Casino uh, a couple of weekends from now. So if you want to be a part of that, learn more at TICasino.com. We love Treasure Island here on KFN and uh, the Power Trip Morning Show. Make this weekend island time, TICasino.com. From the 651 Carpets Plus, home of the Next Day Install Studios, this is The Power Trip on FM 100.3 KFAN, The Fan. The Power Hour continues at KFAN.com slash watch. You can watch Initials Game 510 right now, all thanks to Quantum Fiber. Yeah! Let's go. The time has come. Go, guys! It is time. That's right. It is time. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. The initials game right around the corner. Our guests are in studio. Everybody's ready to go. We had paper. The uh, the smelling salts have been passed around. Jeez. Yeah, really Not so. everyone partook. Yeah, no. no, no, they they they're, they're have clean. their own process. It's almost Marty. like they like their brain cells. Yeah. Yeah. Let them do what they want. Yeah. Uh, get, no, I, I watched you guys. Every single person is like, "Oh my god, that's the worst thing I've ever smelled ever." <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. they're like, "You guys want one? You guys like, want no. some? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to do a shot? The the face you just made after doing that shot, and then your friends like, you want to do a shot? Like, no, <laughs> no, I don't. I do not want to no do thanks. a shot. Yeah, well, is everybody ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's go. Let's go. It's time for initials major round three. Hey, yeah, and that's the wrong button. <laughs> Zach, do it live then. <laughs> we'll do it it's time. Do it live. Initials game 510 on the power trip. Yeah. With your yeah. host, Corey Zach. Cove. Nailed it. Way to go, Zacho. Uh, this is Initials Game 510. You guys were a part of Initials Game, I think, 463 or something last May. It. Jason, you got one point. Randy, you were shut up. But this is redemption That's right. time. It's your we'll time see. to redeem yourselves. We'll see. Uh, so, let's go around the room and meet the competitors. Uh, Christopher Allen Hockey. Uh, what happens if you win Initials Game 510 Well, just like today? always, my good friends at Radco have been there since the very beginning. I've lost a lot of games, but they've been there for all of them. If I win, you'll get 10% off your entire order now through Monday. In-store online at radco.com. When you use the promo code initials, discount doesn't apply to toppers. Thank you, Radco. Appreciate it very much. Marnie Gellner. Good morning. I'm sponsored by my hometown friends at Great Clips. If I win today, tweet me. Tag Great Clips today through the end of Sunday, and one lucky winner will win free haircuts for a year. That's oh, amazing. Oh, that's good. Plus, Great Clips will donate $1,000 to the charity of my choice. You looked right at Randy and pointed <laughs> yeah, at him like he right. needs a haircut. I, need a hair I just got a haircut this week. But it like, looks Did great. you go to Great Clips? You I, should have gone to our hometown friends I at Great Clips. Our hometown it's nice. Great Clips. Oh, they're real nice. nice. Very nice. Look at Mark Parrish. Mark is embracing the NASCAR oh, mentality. You oh, have yeah. ABC Bring contracting. On, baby. Hat, shirt. You're uh, you're you're logoed Sponsored. up. They are my best friends, and I'm sponsored by my best friends at ABC American Building Contractors. And if I win today, tweet at me at Mark D Parrish and tag at ABC Will Help. 
through the end of Sunday, and one lucky winner will win a hundred dollar Visa gift card. Let's Amazing. go, good guys. Thank yeah, you, American so Building cool. Contractor. I, I feel real bad for ABC though, because that's really awkward when somebody says these are my best friends, and those guys are listening to their car going, "I don't think we're best friends." <laughs> nah. yeah, that's really, you know, I mean, yeah. I like you, but I'm not sure we're best friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enemies. They'll learn to love me. <laughs> uh, Randy and Jason, you, if you win tonight, uh, people can pay full price at acmecomedyco.com right. for my tickets. Our yeah. best friends at Acme Comedy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and because Meat Sauce is not here, the Sklar Brothers are uh, sponsored by our friends at 7th Avenue Pizza. Oh, all 7th go. Avenue Pizzas are buy one, get one free at all Lunds and Byerly's locations. And if either of them win today, mm -hmm. you tweet at Meat Sauce 1 and tag 7th Avenue Pizza through the end of Sunday. And one, one lucky winner is going to win $100 towards restocking their freezer with 7th Avenue Pizza. Thank you, 7th Avenue that. Pizza. Thank and, you, guys. And, and the guys were just asking off air. You were asking, didn't you guys make like a board game? or something. And yes, I'm so glad you brought that <laughs> up. I did ask you. That's you awesome. You asked that and I did. Don't you can go to initialsgame.com and buy versions of four and five right now at initialsgame.com. What a great thing. You guys have sold a bunch of them. Sell more. Don't care. Yeah, it's not you guys. Yeah. It's you guys. <laughs> you guys. You guy. You guy over there. Yeah. It's not a Corey. profit no sharing expression. Corey. Oh, man. Yep. Yeah. What was that We're website again? It was initialsgame.com. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got Don't care. This yeah. is this is creepy, fellas. But I do have a couple in my car. If you want them after oh, the show. Oh yeah, that's yeah. They're running Wait. down there. <laughs> it's like a scene from Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. Help me move this couch. Yeah. Put this couch Get in, in the car. back of his the, van. Ted Put Bund some oh, shit in the back. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Before we play game five ten, one of you might win sixty two thousand five. Now it's time for the St. Paul Federal Credit Union initials jackpot. That is correct. One 5326 The jackpot's is sixty two thousand five hundred dollars. You looking to buy a new? Car. Ooh, we'll save uh, money on your current car loan as well with St. Paul Federal Credit Credit Union. Credit Union. Credit. 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 I'm on the rail, Daddy. <laughs> I'm on the rail, Daddy. <laughs> he grew up. Look at Credit Union. Credit. St. Paul Federal Credit Union now offering car loan rates as low as 6.29%. Apply today at stpaulfcuorg slash KFAN. Federally insured by the NCUA. Corey. Yep, this is the best bid ever. Again, it goes up $500 every week thanks to our friends at St. Paul Federal Credit Union. If the caller guesses one letter in the right spot, they win 250 bucks, which is still pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if they just tell me both in the right spot, they win the progressive jackpot, which is $62,500. Oh, Let's, Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, random caller, where are you from and what is your name? Hey, this is Keith from St. Cloud. Keith oh, from St. Cloud. Huskies. Yeah. Are you a Husky fan? Did you yeah, watch, go Husky. Do you like Mark Parrish? I love Mark Perry. Uh, thank Parrish. you very much. Mm -hmm. All right, Keith from St. Cloud. Clear. You have a shot at $62,500. All you got to do is say two letters, and they just have to be the right ones. Which ones do you want? All right, I'm going T-O, like Tommy Olsen. Uh, T-O, like Tommy Olsen. T-O. Mm, Tara Lowen. T-O, like Tommy Olsen. Come on, give it to him. Uh, Let's go. Come on, Keith in St. Cloud has a shot at mm. $62,500. Does mm. he have at least one right for two fifty? dollars and is he alive? For sixty-two thousand five hundred dollars, you blew it! Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Keith. Sorry, Dang Keith. It. All right, try. Leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Go, guys. All right. Best out of twelve. All-time record is nine. Oh, Yell out your name. Right, Remember, your name nine. is your buzzer. Mm -hmm. you Got to pronounce the answer correctly. Uh, if you uh, ring in and get it wrong, you're out for only that item. Everybody ready? Yes, sir. Let's rock. Yes, the sir. initials for game 510. The letter S and then the letter F. S, F. Hmm. The letter S and then the letter F. People, places, things, phrases, it can be anything. Here we go. Jason Sklar, Randy Sklar, Mark Parrish, Chris Hockey, Marnie Gellner. Hi. Item number one mm -hmm. of S, F. Clue number one. Often features many colors. Clue number two. Are rectangular. Mark. Mark. State flag. What? That's right. Wow. Oh my dude. God. Wow. State oh my flag. God. It was Marky the Mark. only thing that popped into my head when you said like, the initials. Well, I said SF. The first thing you thought of was state, state flag? flag. It's not even a yeah. phrase people use. Uh, hey, wow. check out that wow. state flag over there. No one ever specifies. <laughs> wow. That's you would wow. say, oh, Mark. Oh, my God. That's impressive. That was fantastic. All right, Mark Let's Parrish here. on the Good board guys. with Good one. Guys. Here's number two of SF. Clue number one. The second word is often skipped without changing the meaning. 
Clue number two. Often connected to emerging talent. I mean, I have something that I'm not allowed to say on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Clue number three. Known for its length. Also something okay. I'm not allowed to say on the radio. <laughs> Clue number four. Often showcased at festivals. Clue number five. These are sometimes given awards. Hmm. Final clue. Clue number six. The standard definition of these says that these have a 40 minute runtime or less. Marty. Marty. Short film. That's right. Oh, oh so good. Short film. Wow. Oh, I yeah. Out of the way, Marnes. Marnes. Shorts. Not go, Marnes. even quote. Marnie, great job. Had Thank state you. flag pop into his head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Unbelievable. But well didn't have short film. Nope. All right. Marnie yeah. has one. Parrish has one. Ten items to go. Here's number three. Here we go. Okay. Of SF. Clue number one. Over 400 years old. Clue number two. Has connections to artist Georgia O'Keefe and the Georgia... I got Jason. Jason. Santa Fe. Wow! Wow. Wow. Jason! Jason. Santa Fe! On the board. How did you know Georgia O'Keefe had a connection to Santa Fe? You just spent time there? Uh, We 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 shot shot a movie there. We shot uh, Wild Wild Hogs. Hogs. We were in the movie Wild Hogs. I love that movie. And we were in that... Thanks, buddy. And so... And we spent a lot of time there, and I know Georgia O'Keefe. Santa Fe. Right. Wow. I love Everything. how you ring in with, I got it, I Jason. Got it, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to yell. I don't know what to yell. Say Jason. Right. I say Jason. Sometimes you don't have to say your right name. Tell me John Travolta is a good guy, please. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. He very, actually, very, very, like, so cool. To the point, so, so Martin Lawrence was in the movie and yeah. he brought his daughter to set and she's sitting, like, in Video Village, just hanging out. Which is, like, where the director or the producers mm-hmm. are sitting and the monitors are set up and we're sitting there because we're not in the scene, but we're in, like, the, the next, next scene. The next setup of the coverage. And we're sitting there and there are, like, three rows in front of us in these director's chairs. And Martin Lawrence says to John, with introduces John, do do the just thing, do, for, just do for it for my daughter. And, and we're like, what is what he is asking he? him to oh, do? No. And John Travolta, in full singing voice, like full, full, full voice, sings, "I got chills, oh, they're multiplying." Awesome. And we're like, wait, he goes all the way through electrifying. electrifying. He did that also oh, wow. in front of Marissa Tomei, a, a war, like Academy, Academy Award, Award winner Marissa Tomei, and I heard her squeal like a schoolgirl. <laughs> So cool. And he did it. He he like he committed just fully to it. did it. I'm like, that's a good guy. That's, that's, pretty that's cool. awesome. Right, that's good good. Glad you asked. Uh, Jason on the board. So Jason Scalar has one. Parrish has one. Marty has go. one. Three way tie with it. nine Let's items go. to go. Here we go. Here's Guys. number four of SF. Clue number one. In a literal sense, this could be a safety hazard. Clue number two. Involves limited tolerance. Clue number three. A person can have one of these. Hawk. Yep. Short fuse. That's right. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, good guys. Short Hawk at a boy. That's good. That's yep. good. So yep. good. So Way good. to put it together. Atta that was boy. very good. All right. Four way tie. There we go. Randy, guys, you feel a little go. left out. It's everybody but you so far. Yeah. I do. But I mean, I, this is where I expected to be. This is where, you know, I'm going to give all the glory to God. <laughs> can, we, can we, by the way, can we stop giving all, all the, the glory, glory to God? God? Like, I heard Paige Becker's after the thing. I was like, you had such a great game. So How about you give 10% to God and give 80%? To your parents who sublimated yeah, drove their dreams. 80, thousand miles. We're not saying don't believe. How about in your God? younger sister had to come to all your dumb games? Right? <laughs> Give her some of the glory. Give the glory to her. Give her seventeen percent of the glory. God will be fine with eight percent. So I want to give all the glory to God. We have a four-way tie. Jason, Mark. Hawk and Marnie. Here's number five of S F. Clue number one. The second word is a shortened version of a longer word that starts with the letter I. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. 
He has one. I don't almost ever repeat clues. You want me to go through that? Yeah, 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 yeah. One more time. Clues. Number one. The second word is a shortened version of a longer word that starts with the letter I. Clue number two. One of the words is an animal. Clue number three. Although rare, people can have this. Clue number four. This can lead to death and then potentially have an impact on an entire industry. Clue number five. Within a specific population, this is transmitted. Uh, I think, uh, uh, say your name. Anybody want it? Otherwise, final clue. Clue number six. This is a severe respiratory illness spread by pigs. Jason. Mark. Jason was Mark. first. Dang it. Or swine flu. Yes! Yes! Swine flu and Jason takes the lead. Because I, 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 I had influenza and flu. I had it. I got the, yeah, I couldn't uh, get up this. All right, Jason, you're the lead and we're through five. That's oh, unbelievable. Good pickup. Oh, man. He's got half of my I DNA. So close. <laughs> I had the influenza. Wow. Randy, Randy and I came uh, from the same egg. I just need to say that. I just uh, need to say that. Eighty percent of the glory to your parents. Right. He swallowed all the intelligence. In the I world. give all the glory to Paige Becker's God. Right. Uh, Jason has the lead. Jason has two. Wow. Parrish has nice, one. Nice. Hawk has one. Marty has one. But there's still seven to go. Lots of time. Here's number six of S F. Clue number one is the second highest ranking. Clue number two. This features numbers. Clue number three. Can, but doesn't have to, include a queen. Hawk. Hawk. Straight flush. That's right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Hawk. That's that nice. Wow. Oh, straight nice. flush. Nice. I'm really not playing well. All right, we're at halftime, halfway through the game. Jason and Chris okay. have the lead with right. two. Mark Parrish and Marnie Gellner. Right, here we go. Just Attaboy. one back Attaboy. with one. Randy yet to score, but there's Zero. still plenty of time. Attaboy. Here we go. Six All kinds go. of time. All kinds of time. Here is number seven of S. F. Clue number one. Typically occurs once a year. Clue number two. This is last. Clue number three. Can provide some level of closure. Clue number four. This is part of a series. Mark. Mark. Season finale. That's right. Oh, yeah. That is a season finale. Oh, there we go. And we had nice a three-way tie to go. Wow. Nice Season finale. Wow. All right. Okay. So Jason has two. Mark has two. Chris has two. I'm leaving. Mark <laughs> should have had those smelling salts. Marty, you're just one back. Uh, Randy, you have uh, five items to go, so you're still not mathematically you're not out of this out. either. You're not out. Okay. Here's number eight of SF. Clue number one. AIDS instability. Clue number two is mostly triangular. Clue number three. Often appears dark gray in color. Clue number four. These have been used in a very famous film franchise to incite fear. Clue number five. Found on a back. Hawk. 
Yep. Shark fin. That's right. Oh, that a boy. That is a shark. Oh, good clues, Corey. Good clues. Oh, good one, good Chris. Clues. All right, that a boy. Hawk, that a boy. That is point number that three boy. for Chris, okay. and Chris takes wow. the lead. That a boy. Okay. So That's nice. Okay. Oh. All right, Chris Hockey has three. Right, come on now. Jason Sklar has two. Good Mark nice. Parrish has two. Marnie has one, but uh, there are uh, still four items to go. Everybody's still in this. Here's number nine of SF. Clue number one. This can be connected to dignity or honor. Clue number two. Involves a public perception or image. Clue number three. Is protecting yourself in a sense. Clue number four. Avoids a loss of respect. Mark. I uh, got it. Mark was oh, first. Save face. Save right. face. Yes. I literally. Split second later. Yeah. Andy. Oh, that was close. Oh. Sorry, Randy. Ooh. Save it's okay. face. I mean, I, that was the first one I could have answered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Mark, yeah, had, and, and, and had he answered it, he would have saved face. Yeah. But I, did not. I literally am not saving any face here. All right, you're not mathematically out though, Randy. If you get the last three, oh, you still force a tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, with three to go. To disagree. Mark Parrish and Chris Hockey, you have three. Go. You have literally three. Literally had that one. Go. Jason, you're just one back. You're still in this. Marnie, you're not out of this yet either. You have one as well. Here is number ten of uh, SF. Clue number one. This can be one or two words. Clue number two. Randy. Go for it. Schadenfreude. <laughs> good guess. And isn't it great that I felt so, I I felt so good watching you go down? Did you see my down. come up since I got there for that? <laughs> I felt so good to watch you go down like that. I gotta so take a swing. <laughs> <I was> just... <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right, Randy's out for the rest of number 10. Clue number two. Mm-hmm. Can be deadly. Clue number three. Could involve two people or many, many more. Clue number four. Involves offensive and defensive maneuvers. Clue number five. A handful of these occurred in 1987's. The, yep. Sword fight? That's right. Nice. The rest of that nice. clue is going to be nice 1987's talk. The Princess Bride. Yeah. Oh, didn't even yeah. hear that. I would have gotten Good that. Guy. Sword fight is the right answer. And right. Chris mm-hmm. takes right. the lead. Out a boy, Hawk. Out a boy. Out a boy. Good one. No. All right. So here's oh. the old situation. Uh, Marnie and Randy, you are mathematically out. What? Can we yeah. still suggest? Absolutely, keep playing though. Yep, keep playing. Yeah, oh, Chris, yeah, you have a one point lead with two to go. So if you get Hawk. any of the remaining two, you're the winner. Mark, you're just Let's one go. back. Yep. Jason, yeah, you need back. both to tie and yeah. force a tiebreaker, but yep. you're not out of this yet either. No. So Chris, going for the win. Right. Here's number eleven right, here we go, right, here we go, buddy. of S F. Clue number one. This is a person. Clue number two. Used. To maintain an appearance. Clue number three. They are only temporarily in one spot. Uh, Jason. Jason. Seat filler. Seat filler! Jason, it's not over yet. Go! Jason, we're three and it's not over yet. All right. Comes down to this. Uh, Chris, if you get this right, Whoa. you win. If Mark Parrish gets this right, we have a heads-up tiebreaker between Hawk and Parrish. If Jason gets it right, we have a heads-up tiebreaker insane. between oh, Hawk and Jason. Let's go. Good game. Good game. Guys, let's Randy, go. If Randy or Marnie gets this right, then Chris wins as well. So yeah. three of you oh, technically let's go. playing let's go. for Chris. <laughs> Cannot get others go. out. Uh, number 12, Chris going for the win. Jason and Mark going for the tie. Here's number 12. Final item of SF. Clue number one. Often develops over time. Clue number two. It's commonly connected to athletes or athletic activity. Clue number three. Involves discomfort or pain. Clue 
Clue number four. Often connected to the lower body. Hawk. Hawk for the win. Stress fracture. Stress that fracture. Was yeah. Shin splits. Oh, that was so close. Oh, Jason, you it. gave him a scare. Oh, I was, oh. Parrish, you gave him a scare. But, that uh, a boy, Hawk. Christopher Hawk, he gets one. five and wins game five, wow. ten. Chris, what happens now that you've won? Well, Radco, they've uh, supported me through so many losses. Um, and they, today time. I win. Uh, Radco.com and Radco through Monday, 10% off your order. And all you got to do is use the promo code initials. Everything but toppers. There's lots of stuff at Radco. Thank you, Radco. And thank you very much for staying with me. Oh, Radco. Well done, Hawk. Thank you. Good job. Amazing. Oh, really I was great. on sprain. I was on sprain something. Yeah. Jason, okay. you, uh, you had one career point, which was tied for 84th all time. Now you're up. Now you are up to four points. You're tied to, uh, for 54th all time. That's, That's a big jump. 30 spot Huge jump. Huge leap. Huge leap. I, I can't believe Semper Fi wasn't in I there. Can't I can't San Francisco was yeah. small forward wasn't oh, in there. Wow. Come on, Marnie. Yeah, was, small yeah. foot. That's a movie that I showed Freud. my kids. Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. <laughs> At least I tried special to guess. Foot. Special forces. Like special there were special forces. Friend. Yeah. Oh, there's so many. State that fair. Too. Street fair. State farm. State farm. I, what was the dirty ones you guys were talking about? Oh, I don't I know that we can. <laughs> Come see it. us tonight at Acme. Come see us at Acme and we'll reveal it. All yes. of our dirty ones you tonight. You guys said that during... You them because guys, his wife will be talking. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to come see his wife talk. Uh, you guys said that during short film. So I thought maybe one of you was thinking snuff film when you were saying, I don't know if I can say that. Snuff no, film, you could that's, say. You could say so that's that. A you definitely thing. could. You just can't show it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Or film Except for tonight at Acme. You guys are showing snuff films as... That's what about sexual do. feeling? I don't know. I don't know what favors. I was thinking. Favors. Sexual oh. favors. Oh. Good morning. Get your mind out of the game. You are filthy, Marnie. Filthy. Strong feelings. Uh, Slip, fall. I, I mean, I don't know. I was. I tried to write a bunch. San Francisco of was one I had to. Uh, while, while we got a couple of seconds here, and again, thank you, Radco.com, and well done, everybody. Um, I had a, a listener, Andrew Wolf, called in and wanted to know about the This American Life story. Oh, yeah. So there is a crazy story from our lives where when we were six weeks old, our mom took us to the doctor and she had us dressed exactly alike because she, she was, couldn't tell us apart. Like we look back at pictures of ourselves and we're like, I, I can't even wow. I'm looking for some facial expression or something. I can't. And if we huh. can't and it's us, yeah. then I there's no way she could. And the nurse changed our diapers without asking our mom. And the only way she could tell us apart was the color of our diaper pins and put Pampers on. That was a new diaper at the time. It was the Beats by Dre of baby yeah. uh, under <laughs> undergar <laughs> undergarments. And they were tape overs. And she handed our mom the pins in a bag and said, I changed her diapers. And my mom was like, who had which pins? She couldn't remember. And so our mom went into like a tizzy and couldn't really... They guessed. Our parents kind of guessed. And so for 50 years, and they didn't go back to check because they. I, there's a million reasons why. And so for 50 years, we kind of didn't know if we were who we were. And we went on this, like, weird identity search to find out if we were who we were. And then I was home, like, cleaning out our house. You know, whenever time you, at this age, you go back to your childhood house and your, mo your mom's like, you got to throw everything away. You got to throw everything away yep. in the garage and you yeah. got to go to the basement <laughs> and throw everything yeah. away. <laughs> go in your closet like, and we throw threw, everything. We threw away more stuff than we had. Like, we threw away three lacrosse sticks. Right? None <laughs> of us play lacrosse. First I was like, who's are these? In our house? <laughs> who's are these? Why are they? So, I was like, mom, where should I put my suitcase? She's like, throw, throw them away. away. They're eventually like, going to be thrown my stuff for this trip. So, so Randy found like a little memento from the day we were born a footprint it wasn't even an official thing but yeah. there were enough lines on there that I literally called this American we called this American life we're like do you want to go on this journey with us to figure out if we are who we are and they did so there's wow. like so that cool. actually you asked is what we're working on so we wrote a whole show like a two-man show kind of like you know Neil Brennan's blocks or all the Mike Birbiglia shows which is like a Broadway style show about that, like this idea that like we went on this like crazy at a point in our history when we are so identity focused, you got to call yeah. me by my pronouns, get the right this and that. It's like more than ever, we have told like our our kids, like you're a unique person and know who you are and whatever, that like we went on this quest to like find out who we were as twins and what we wound, wound up finding out, we found our humanity as parents. And we realized that as parents, that defines us more than a footprint. It's a, it's a really cool show Aww. that we it's awesome, man. Yeah. And it's, cool, so it's lots man. of comedy. A lot of the parenting stuff you'll see tonight at Acme when you come, or if you guys come over the weekend, your fans come over the weekend, you'll see a lot of our parenting stuff that's kind of woven throughout. But, but then there's this crazy, we went on the 
mother of all identity sort of searches, yeah. and and it's it's just a really cool idea. It is cool. I've always wondered that about twins anyway, because my name's Corey. I don't like the name Corey necessarily. Uh-huh. It's a very '80s dated name. Yeah. But it's not like I had a twin brother, and I'm like, I wanted your your name's better than my. Like, <laughs> That's right. did you guys when you guys were growing up? Did one of you go like, well, Jason's a better name than Randy, That's or right. Randy's a, like, is that part of the? Uh, yeah, I don't think we did no. that. No, uh, we have such a weird relationship with being twins. It's like we don't talk about it on stage a ton. Our goal when we got into comedy wasn't to be the comedy twins. It was, we want to be, we love comedy. We want to be a very funny comedy team that happened. We happen to be twins. So we don't talk about being twins a ton on stage. You know, in writing, they always say show, don't tell. That's that. So that's Mm. the best type of writing is to not spell it out, but to show it. And so in, when you come see us live, you see that our relationship is a very symbiotic relationship that is a function of being twins and having grown up together and having shared experiences through our lives. But we don't talk about being twins Got so it. much. So it's more of a nuanced yeah, thing. Do I wish I would have gotten three right in that game and not Jason? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do. Or maybe you did. Yeah. And, I and just, you're not who you think you are. That's, you got to listen to this American maybe. Life or come see our well, show. Listen to this real quick. And I don't mean to bring the show down, but this is something I've always wondered. I had a, My twin died at, at seven mm-hmm. months and yeah. I lived. Wow. If if I had died and he had lived, would he be sitting here? Probably not. Probably not, right? Almost yeah. zero. Yeah, yeah. right. Probably, Probably not. Enough. You went on your path right. and that's the, the sliding door of it all. Like you went on your path and who knows where your twin would have been. Right. That's crazy. It's a crazy, it's crazy to think of all that stuff. It, it causes you to think about, I'm sorry that that happened oh, first of all. Thank you. I appreciate it. But you. yeah, but it is really fascinating. Our lives are shaped by the experiences that make them up and how yeah. you choose to interpret them and how, and a different person would have had a different take on that. Maybe would have been paralyzed by that through their entire lives. Right. And look at what a beautiful life you made for oh, yourself. Thank you, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Amazing. Said, um, very well said. Quick question about back sure. to the uh, the diaper changing or your mom yeah. not being able to tell you apart. Neither one of you has a birthmark? No. None. No. Wow. Neither. So there's none. Huh. So Prove it. it. All right. <laughs> That's what Jason couldn't say on the yeah. air. <laughs> All right. You guys are the best, man. Thanks for coming thank in. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. It's awesome. It's a blast. Um, you guys are welcome back anytime. And again, if you want to see uh, the fellas tonight, 7 and 9, limited tickets tonight. Then the Limited m- tickets at 7. 9, there are tickets. Got and the 9 p.m. tomorrow night, there are tickets. But let's, it. Sell, let's it sell it out with your awesome fans. With your amazing yeah. fans. We'd love that. They're at Acme tonight and tomorrow. So go check them out. Marnes will watch you on uh, Bally's tonight, 8.30 pregame. 8.30 pregame. Yep. yep. And awesome. then Parrish tomorrow with the Wild, right? Yep, tomorrow, uh, both afternoon games, not exactly sport time. Gotcha. Margie, you were going to say something else. I was what just going to say, I'll see the Sklar Brothers tomorrow afternoon at if Target Field. we're throwing Field. out the first oh, yeah. match. Let's go. Yeah. Dustin. There you go. Morse, yes. Morse, get it, yeah, get it yeah, on. Let's go. That's awesome. All right, power trip back to, um, sorry, Monday at 5.30. Again, next week we'll be in uh, in Vegas. Marins, we're going to miss you and uh, and Marky Mark next week in hey, Vegas. Hold it it you guys can't be there. Well, we got Wednesday for you. We Looking do, forward to Wednesday. You guys can hold down the fort on Wednesday for sure. All right, that was the Scholar Brothers. 9 to noon is next. We'll see you Monday, everybody. Have a good weekend. KFAN Total Traffic. From the Quick Trip Traffic Center, here's a look at the roads. Pro- And finally, 7th Street East at Kitson. That one has now cleared. 494 westbound at 169, a stall on the right shoulder. That's traffic on the fan. Traffic is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their all-in-one platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. Are you looking for ways to elevate your business through premium headwear and apparel? At Branded Bills, we focus on attention to detail, in-person customer experience, and quality craftsmanship to provide a finished, customized product for any occasion. Our core belief is to create out-of-the-box products that enhance the value of your personal brand or business. We offer low minimum orders, unique design applications, and completed custom products in as quick as two weeks. To find out more, visit brandedbills.com. Much, much more. And this April, you could win a John Deere utility tractor. Details at goplaywin.com. St. Croix Casino Turtle Lake. Find your fortune. The Black Keys International Players Tour live in Minneapolis. Target Center, November 10th. They wanna get, my get tickets this Friday at 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. The Black Keys. The brand new album, Ohio 
players is available everywhere April 5th. For more, visit theblackkeys.com. Hey, hon, let's invite your folks over for a barbecue this weekend. Really? Why the sudden interest in impressing my parents? Oh, no reason. Maybe I just want to show off the yard from Weedman Lawn Care. <laughs> well, Dad's actually on his way. Wow, nice lawn. Weedman Lawn Care, huh? But have you seen ours lately? Okay, challenge accepted. For a free quote and to win the turf war, visit Weedman.com. Use promo code WMSAVE50 for 50% off your first application. That's Weedman.com, WMSAVE50. It's down to the final four teams. Bet Online has been your tournament bracket headquarters all March long. And now that we're almost down to the finals, we've still got a lot more in store, including baseball and pro basketball and hockey contests and promotions. Get the most up-to-the-minute wagering information anytime from your desktop or your mobile devices. Head to Bet Online today to stay updated on all the action. Bet Online. The game starts here. Hey, it's me, Toss, for my amazing friends at Window Nation and WindowNation.com. It's springtime. It's the best time of year. It's April. There's a lot of great things going on in April. One of the best things is that spring air. If you go to open your windows today, tonight, whenever you want to open them, and you can't get them open, or you notice that the seal on them is broken, they're cracked, they're ugly, replace them immediately with the best windows of all time and the best deal of all time. My friends at Window Nation are offering you two free windows with every two you buy, plus Zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. They can install your brand new windows in a day or less. Window Nation's professional installation teams have over 10 years of experience, and Window Nation's windows come with a lifetime warranty. All you got to do is go to windownation.com, get a free, no obligation quote right now from windownation.com. You get those two free windows with every two you buy, plus zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. And all you got to do to start, is go to windownation.com. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's Zip ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Anniversary savings of 72% off labor on all siding, door, and patio door projects. Builders and Remodelers.com. This is Doug Gottlieb. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Blaze Credit Union, formerly Spire and Highway. Every now and again, a generational recruiting class can change an entire sport. The 2020 women's college basketball class is a perfect example. Paige Beckers at UConn, Angel Reese, a national champ at LSU, and of course, Caitlin Clark, now the all-time leading scorer. If that's a sign of things to come, that 2020 recruiting class is certainly leaving its mark and leaving the sport in better shape than they found it. I'm Dan Patrick. Spire and Highway are now Blaze Credit Union. Blaze wants to be your trusted financial partner on the road of life. We will find the right path, even if it means blazing. 